Hello, ninth graders, ninth grade families, and parents, and guardians, and students. Welcome. So I'm going to talk about week number 10. So week number 10 is the second week in quarter two. Um, students are going to be finished with the pearl, and we are going to move on to Animal Farm. So just a reminder, um, students do not have to have a hard copy of Animal Farm. There is an e-text. So there is an e-book. So if you uh, do not have a copy, it's okay. But if you want to buy your student a copy, they will start reading it um, over the weekend into week 11. So that long four-day weekend, um, students will be reading. Which brings me to my next point. We have two schedule changes. So uh, during week 10, there is a schedule change because the junior class are taking the PSAT in person on Thursday, October 29th. So um, that day is going to be a different schedule. All that they did was that they took Wednesday and Thursday and switched them. And you can see the schedule attached to the lesson plan. So if this doesn't make any sense to you, you can look at the schedule. But like basically um, because Wednesday is typically not required, by teachers and because students have a lot of free time um, for the PSAT they're gonna do Thursday as Wednesday schedule and then the Thursday schedule will be on Wednesday so they're just taking the days and switching them so no different times or anything they're literally just taking those two days and swapping them um, so that the junior class can take the PSAT on Thursday the 29th also um, November is right around the corner so week 11 is November 2nd through November 5th Students do not have school on Monday the 2nd or Tuesday the 3rd. So we have a big no school weekend. So October 31st and November 1st, 2nd and 3rd is a four day weekend. Don't remember why we get the first off, but we get the second off because it's election day. Again, if you wanna look at that schedule, it's in the lesson plan that I have linked. So if you wanna click it and view it, if that's easier, you can definitely do that. Okay, now that the schedule changes are out of the way, let's get into content. So um, for our first block, which is going to be Tuesday the 27th, we're going to be doing some presentations and we're going to be reviewing our final assignment over the PEARL. So the final assignment for the PEARL is due for students on Schoology on Monday the 26th at 11.59 p.m. under the Week 10 folder because it's week 10. So it's gonna be under the week 10 folder. Uh, their Schoology has already been updated and all new information has already been posted. So they're good, calendar's updated and whatnot. But anyway, so the final assignment is due Monday the 26th at 11.59 p.m. Um, and then on Tuesday, we're going to review that assignment. Um, students had to do a creative portion. We're learning about symbolism. So I asked all the students to find a symbol in their own life that they would like to show on camera. Just a fancy way of saying show and tell. So students are gonna do a gallery walk. We can't really do that, but we're gonna, I'm gonna have everybody show their symbol and explain it. So Tuesday will just be a day that we're all going to like hang out and get to know each other and show our symbols. We're gonna do shout outs. We have like a kudos thing that we're gonna do. So Tuesday, we're just gonna like finish up the pearl basically, talk about the assignment, do the symbolism, you know, little presentation, and then that's all we're doing. Um, ninth graders also have vocab that next week on the 10th, uh, or on week 10 from the, which is the 26th through the 30th. So they have vocab, so they can also work on vocab on Tuesday since they won't have any other homework. It's unit three. They'll take their quiz on Friday when I see them in class. So, uh, but that's it. So that's all they're doing on Tuesday. Only homework is vocab. And then when I see them again on Friday, we are gonna start Animal Farm. Um, they'll be reading it over the weekend, so they don't have to read it yet. They'll start reading it hopefully on Friday the 30th after we talk about it. But um, I have guided notes that they're gonna use for the whole unit. It's a Google Doc, so they'll just make a copy of it and keep it in their Google Drive. And then each day we'll go back to it and work with the guided notes. So I've got like a bunch of presentations. I've got like videos. Um, I've got introduction stuff that we're gonna do on Friday. So just a bunch of intro stuff, words to know, um, key players in the Russian Revolution because Animal Farm's an allegory for the Russian Revolution. We're gonna watch a video. I think we have two videos. So um, Friday is just gonna be intro day. So I'll show them the guided notes. I'll show them the unit slides. We'll check out the book. We'll do a bunch of intro stuff. So, and then we'll do our wellness check number 10 on Friday.
And like I said, the homework um, over that weekend, which is a four-day weekend, the 31st, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, they're going to read the preface for Animal Farm, and then they're going to read chapters 1 and 2. Um, and then we'll come back on Tuesday, and we'll go over it that next week. We'll be going over it. Um, or no, not on Tuesday, sorry. We'll go over it on Friday. Um, students will turn everything in on Schoology. It'll be due the Thursday before, so they'll turn the questions that they answered. They'll turn it on Schoology, but I'll upload that when the time comes, because that's in the future, but I'll upload that eventually. Um, let's see what else. We're also doing, um, my student council is doing Halloween trivia on Monday, the 26th, after school at 3, um, with the login 2024 spooky trivia. So if some of your students want to come and talk about Halloween and maybe win some prizes, they should. It'll be fun. Um, and I think those are all the announcements that I have. And then my help night, as usual, is going to be on Thursday. So if they want to meet me for my help night, it is on Thursday, as per usual. Um, I think that's everything. So it's kind of a big week because we're doing our presentations on Tuesday and then on Friday we are starting Animal Farm. So it's kind of, it sounds like a lot, but I don't think it'll take too much time. So, and then just a reminder, my Thursday, my Wednesday is not required. Technically it's Thursday because of the PSAT schedule, not required. If students want to log in, I'm still going to use the nickname Stevenson Wednesday because it's just easier, but they don't have to, they aren't required to log in if they don't want to. Um, yeah, so that is, that is everything, I think. I know this is a lot, um, definitely look at the lesson plan that has been linked in the description, and then if you have any questions, definitely send me an email. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. See you then!